and you guessed it right i am going to finish this if you guessed it i'm going to finish this uh with more butter Hi, I'm Chetna Makan and I am cooking once again for you guys uh, and I've chosen a really nice vegetarian curry. So I am making a cauliflower butter masala. Butter masala is quite a popular, well-known um, uh, curry and you can get uh, paneer butter masala, chicken butter masala, all sorts of uh, recipes. There are various ways of making it. Uh, and I am going to show you my take on it. So a nice hot pan and two to three tablespoons of sunflower oil and also a good blob of butter which is going to make it nice and creamy and just let it melt. Um, once it starts sizzling I'm going to add uh, some cinnamon bay leaves, green cardamom pods and some cumin seeds and let all of this sizzle up nicely. And next we add in our onions. Cook for 10 minutes or so, we want a nice, lovely golden color. So I've got some garlic and some ginger and I'm going to finely chop this. Once it has reached this lovely golden color, I'm going to add the chopped up ginger and garlic and then cook this for a couple of minutes on low heat. Next uh, goes in a tin of chopped tomatoes. Also some water. And now I am going to cook this on low heat for good 20-25 minutes. Just let it simmer. So we have our cauliflower. In goes the salt and then some chili powder and also some turmeric powder. and um, drizzle of oil. I'm using um, sunflower oil. You can use vegetable oil or rapeseed oil. And then just a quick mix. The oven is heating at um, 200 C. And I'm just going to bake this roast. The key is to cook low and slow because you want the flavors to develop the tomatoes and all that garlic and ginger. Um, and um, if you you can like kind of rush this and cook it in five minutes, but it's it, it, I would advise you to cook this slowly for you know 20, 25 minutes, half an hour if possible. There it is. Good half an hour of um, cooking. It smells really nice. And it's time to add the spices. Some salt, turmeric powder, nice um, garam masala, also coriander powder. Then just mix. Now, if you are able to get hold of kasuri methi, which is dried fenugreek leaves, it's a really nice spice herb to have in the cupboard because it adds this lovely um, kind of flavor to it. And there is no um, 
there is nothing else you can use in place of this so if you have it use it if you don't have it just skip it and the thing that is going to make it nice and buttery is butter of course so in goes a bit more butter so that's a um, good 20 minutes in the oven look at that smells really good and this cauliflower goes straight in from the oven to the sauce right in and a good mix and I'm just going to add some water now this is the time to check if your cauliflower is cooked because it it was only in the oven for 20 minutes so it shouldn't be fully done yes it's still got a bite just some water and I'm just going to increase the heat uh, because I will now cook this on uh, medium heat not low heat just on medium heat to uh, cook the cauliflower so I'm going to cover and cook this for 10 minutes oh it smells so so amazing that's it the cauliflower has cooked through and now I am going to finish it with some cream because we have to make it nice and creamy I do always recommend that before you plate it up check the seasoning because it's much easier to kind of add anything at this stage rather than in the bowl I am going to add a tiniest drizzle of honey not much at all but just tinsiest bit that's it I'm gonna plate this up now this is the time if you want you can take the whole spices out of the dish while you're plating it up but I just leave it and whoever gets it um, on their plate takes it out but if you want you can take it out right now and you guessed it right I am going to finish this if you guessed it I'm going to finish this uh, with more butter this is an indulgent kind of recipe treat just and also just a little drizzle of cream it does smell incredible this will go so so well with some naan on the side or on top of some piping hot rice or some jeera pulao i know how it's gonna taste mm. that is so delicious um if you don't want to add cauliflower um, you can make this with potatoes or with paneer as well and if you want to go for um, some meat this will be really good with some chicken chopped up chicken pieces so yeah uh, whatever you try it with I hope you will enjoy it thanks bye